you will receive the power of the Holy Spirit coming to you, and you will be my witnesses even to the ends of the earth. Hallelujah. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <clears throat> let us pray. May the power of the Holy Spirit come to us, we pray, O Lord, that we may keep your will faithfully in mind and express it in a devout way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Apollos was in Corinth, Paul travels through the interior of the country and down to Ephesus where he found some disciples. He said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you became believers? They answered him, we have never even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. He said, How was you baptized? They replied, With the baptism of John. Paul then said, John baptized with a baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who was to come after him that is in Jesus. When they heard this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came upon them, and they spoke in the tongues and prophesied. Altogether they were about twelve men. He entered the synagogues and for three months debated boldly with persuasive arguments about the kingdom of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. God arises, his enemies are scattered and those who hate him flee before him. As smoke is driven away, so are they driven, as wax melts before the fire. Sing to God, O kingdom of the earth. But the just rejoice and yacht before God. They are glad and rejoice. Sing to God, chant praise to his name, whose name is the Lord. Sing, Sing to God, God o, kingdoms o kingdoms of the earth. earth. The father of orphans and the defender of widows is God in his holy dwelling. God gives a home to the forsaken. He leads forth prisoners to prosperity. Sing, Sing to God, O kingdoms, kingdoms of the earth. earth. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly, and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? 
Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world you will have trouble, but take courage, I have conquered the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, you, Lord Jesus Christ. So this week, uh, we have a little bit of a, a Pentecost uh, prep time. Uh, we are in the, the period where we just finished the Ascension, and, and we're preparing uh, for Pentecost. And it, it's a week, really, perhaps for us to focus on the Holy Spirit um, in prayer, but our understanding of the Holy Spirit. Paul uh, goes to Ephesus and uh, he starts teaching about the Holy Spirit. And he asks the people, there says, uh, did you receive the Holy Spirit? And their response is, I didn't even know there was a Holy Spirit. And some of us uh, may be sort of like that <laughs> in the sense that uh, we've kind of heard about the Holy Spirit for sure, but we're not quite sure how the Holy Spirit works, what the Holy Spirit is. It's a little less accessible uh, than the Father and the Son. So this third person of the Trinity uh, is something we should perhaps focus on this week, uh, perhaps do a little reading on, uh, seek to understand uh, the great gift of the Holy Spirit. Jesus sends the Advocate, the Holy Spirit. We see what happens at Pentecost. Uh, the disciples and the apostles go from kind of a scared, confused group to this dynamic, bold, uh, proclaiming group of, of the basic charisma of Jesus Christ. So the Holy Spirit, one thing we learn for sure is that it changes our hearts. And the Holy Spirit dwells in us. So God dwells in us, giving us a strength and grace and a power to do things that on our own we could not do. So that's why we ask for the continued coming of the Spirit, uh, which was given to us in abundance at baptism, in abundance at confirmation, but the Holy Spirit continues to come and to reside in us. So we ask for that grace to understand. St. Catherine gives us a little image of, of the, uh, the Trinity. And she says, Enrich your soul in the great goodness of God. The Father is your table. So the foundation, the core. Uh, we always look to the Father. The Son is your food. Feeds us for the journey. Feeds us and strengthens us. And the Holy Spirit waits on you and makes His dwelling in you. So this whole idea that God serves us in a beautiful way, that the Trinity seeks to serve us, to make us holy. And this Trinity seeks to dwell in us um, to the extent that we will allow it and say, yes, Lord, come to me, come dwell in me. A quick word on, on the gospel because it's very important. Jesus says this line, in the world you will have trouble. Okay, that's an important line. Jesus never said, I will take away all your troubles. And it's very important for us to remember this because sometimes our troubles in the world sort of shock us. And the troubles in the world uh, did not uh, leave Jesus himself. So Jesus had trouble in the world, right? So go through the gospel stories. Jesus is, is constantly battled by Pharisees, even his family, all these people, and He's eventually put to death. So the world is going to have some trouble. Don't We should not let it shock us. Um, but Jesus also says this, that I am not alone. The Father is in me. He said, every one of you is going to desert me. Every one of you. This is the last supper. He says, a little while, it's going to just be me and everybody's gone. But he says something beautiful, but I am not alone. The Father is with me. That remains today through the gift of our baptism, through the indwelling of the Spirit. When we think we're alone, we're actually not. 
that the Father is always with us, the Son is always guiding us, the Holy Spirit always dwelling in us. Um, it's just a reminder uh, to all of us, I've, I've said it many times uh, during the course of, of these past weeks, that we are not alone, that the Father is always in us. The de great deceiver, uh, the father of lies, Satan, is going to get us to try and believe that we are alone and that we have been abandoned and that God does not love us. So those are the lies that we have to look at and recognize and then reject. Because why? We trust the words of the gospel. We trust what Jesus told me. Even though my interior is feeling something different, that I trust what Jesus has told me and therein lies my truth that will lead us for eternal life. Amen. Let us stand and place our needs before God for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, for Archbishop Gregory, for all bishops around the world as they lead the body of Christ, that the Spirit of God may rest in them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. On this Memorial Day, we pray for all those uh, who have given their life uh, in service to our country. We pray for all those who have lost loved ones. We pray in gratitude uh, for their sacrifice and for those who are suffering losses. We pray for the consoling grace of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood and consecrated life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Prayer. For all those who are sick and suffering, especially those members of our parish, that they may know the help and kindness of others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For all those who are unemployed, who are finding difficulties supporting themselves and their families, that they may know the assistance and kindness as well of our parish community and those in our world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, hear our prayers. We thank you, Lord, for hearing these, our needs, and our prayers, those which we have voiced out loud, those that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Please answer them as they be according to your holy will, for we ask them through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all of his holy church. May this unblemished sacrifice purify us, O Lord, and impart to our minds the force of grace from on high, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us shares in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. 
Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Wilton, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let's offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world, have mercy on us. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come to you again, and your heart will rejoice. Hallelujah. I encourage everyone to make an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart, I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. pray. Graciously be present to your people, we pray, O Lord, and lead those you have imbued with heavenly mysteries to pass from former ways to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend defend us in battle. Be our protection protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.